Hi everyone and welcome back to this uh, tutorial series on creating C++ plugins for Cinema 4D. Before we get into the next uh, phase of this uh, dialogue stuff, um, I want to just highlight a problem because you may have this problem and I want to show you how to fix it. So I just, uh, in the last series, uh, last tutorial, I showed you how to debug your plugin. But now when I've started up my computer today um, and I'm trying to debug and I'm running into this problem here. The code execution cannot proceed because m, uh, libmmd.dll was not found. Reinstalling may fix the problem. If you see this, um, this is apparently a common problem. Now, I don't know why this has happened on this machine. This is a brand new install of Windows 10. But my hunch is that perhaps I've got auto updates installed and it's automatically updated something um, and deleted these files that are actually required. This is such a common issue that Maxon actually has an FAQ for it on their website itself and uh, I'll put this in the description of this video and uh, it just come down here and it tells you uh, the solution so it says you're you're missing two DLL files libmmd and svml underscore dspmd.dll sometimes these files are lost by windows for multiple uh, multitude of reasons uh, which is very bizarre to me uh, I haven't hit this problem previously in, in my uh, 12, 13 years of development on Cinema 4D but fortunately, there's a common. Uh, this there's a problem to this. Uh, fortunately, this problem is common enough that these DLL files come packaged with your installation of Cinema 4D. So I just need to copy them from this location and paste them into this location. Uh, so I'm just going to do that right now. I'm going to go to C slash Program Files uh, Max on Cinema 4D R21. I'm um, going into resource, I'm going into libs, I'm going to win64, and it's this file and this file. So I'm just going to copy those. And then I'm going to come into C, Windows, System32, and I'm going to paste them into just right into this folder here. Now, generally, I would never advise anyone ever to touch this folder, but um, these files do not exist. I've already checked, and I trust Maxon. Uh, with all this kind of all these kind of changes because I've been working with them for many years. So control V, I'm just going to paste those in and you'll need administrator uh, permissions to copy files to this folder because this is the main Windows system folder. And so I've put those files in there and now they still exist in the Maxon folder as well. I, you don't remove them from that folder. They should still exist within this folder as well. So let's just check to make sure that they're still there as well. Uh, slash slash program files Maxon Cinema 4D li not library resource libs 164 they're still there that one's still there that one's still there so they, they're copied they weren't um, removed from here they weren't uh, moved across they were just copied okay so now let's have a go let's um, just go down to Visual Studio again I'm going to hit the play button and hopefully it will now run and attach to Cinema 4D. And we'll just put a breakpoint in here. I'm going to put a breakpoint right here. Just so we can check that we uh, can actually hit this when we hit one of these buttons. And there we go. So we are actually able to debug. And that's how you fix that problem if you happen to come across it. Okay, thanks.